Hi, my name is Burke, and I'm joining my friend here, Wardrake, um, on his channel. Uh, we're going to be discussing different things, topics, such things like that, ever so often. Um, and this time around, we're going to be talking about the the change of the twenty dollar bill. Now, what are they changing it to? Well, it has been for a long, long time. Actually, since 1929, it has had the face of Andrew Jackson, the seventh president of the United States. And now they're going to change it to the face of Harriet Tubman. So are they just completely removing it, or what are they doing with Andrew Jackson? They're going to be replacing Andrew Jackson's face on the front of the bill. They're going to be putting Harriet Tubman on there, mm -hmm. and then putting him in a much smaller version on the back. Oh, a smaller version a on the back? A smaller version. I thought it was just, just no. on the back. What? He's going to be joining, I think it's the... Some kind of memorial, or I don't remember what's on the back of the twenty dollar bill at the moment in my head. Um, but he'll be joining whatever is on the back next to and smaller. That's really weird. I just the way I was reading the article, I just assumed they meant just on the back. Yeah. Weird. Smaller. Smaller on the back. That's kind of a disservice. So they're kind of taking the face of a national icon with the United States. He's a president. He's also uh, one of the founding fathers. Founding fathers, one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence. He was a general in the wars, in many different wars in the United States back in those days. Taking him off the front of the bill, the most iconic, one of the most iconic faces within our, our currency, because we have, each currency is, has a different face of a president on it, or, an, or a national icon within our, our nation's history. Taking him off. And putting her, not saying Harriet Tubman is not a national icon. No, she, yeah. she was a, a, a great individual in her time. She was very important. Yes. And then taking him off and putting her on. And that's what I have a problem with, I think. And I think you have the same problem. Yeah. is He's been on there for a very long time. He is very important to how the United States started out. And while Harriet Tubman deserves many honors. Of and course. I would never, I would never disagree that she deserves something. Um, I don't think replacing Jackson on the front is good. I don't want to say well, it's bad, but it's it's not it's it's not uh, I would say appropriate or proper. Not a good move. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's appropriate for them to remove someone who was a founding father from in front of the bill and put Harry Tubman on there who was not a founding father uh, for obvious reasons, mm -hmm. but in, in a way he helped create the United States. And she broke the law, if you think of it that way. Yeah, back Although, in the, yeah, in, in those days, he was he was a as as everybody else well, not everybody else, but a lot of people in power back in those days, wealthy, important, powerful white men. He was a slave owner. He they owned slaves. That was a yeah. thing in those days, and he wasn't any different. He he owned slaves because he was in a seat of power. He had poll he had the rights of a white man to own slaves which i'm not saying is a good thing or no i myself touchy subject we're not going to talk about racism right now anyway right or slavery but the, the, he, he yeah. was kind of following the way people were back then owning slaves using them as property and it, it was no different than anybody else was doing well back then it wasn't seen as an immoral thing to do they no. weren't I mean, it's unfortunate, but they weren't seen as human beings. They were seen as property. Yeah. And until the time of Abe Lincoln, it was that way. And so using something like that against him, I don't think... It's not fair. Yeah, I don't think that's correct. Because everyone... George Washington was a slave owner. How many others? I mean, off the top of my head... A lot like, of the founding fathers were slave owners. Most of the... Most people that owned property owned a slave. At least one, maybe two. Yeah. And so to say, well, he was a slave owner, it's like... So? so, I'm sorry, it's not to be insensitive, but... It just was. Everybody being, pretty much was. It's not a matter of fairness anymore at that point. It would be unfair if he was for slavery after it had been abolished. Sure, that'd yeah, be that, completely that'd be, different. Yeah, that'd be different. But, but he, he, was wasn't even, he wasn't even around <laughs> then. He was exactly. long gone by the time it was abolished. Yeah. And Harriet Tubman did a lot of good things, too. She, not saying because we're putting her face on there and taking his off means... Uh, she she did a lot of wonderful things. She was a um, she she freed a lot of people. She was kind of one of the the forerunners of the Underground Railroad to get yeah. all the slaves out. 
She was a strong activist for women's rights. Yes, that too. And she was also she worked for the Union Army. I did not actually know. She that. was a cook, a nurse, hmm. a armed scout, and a spy for the Union Army. I knew she was a spy for something. I didn't know it was the yeah, Union it's Army. Yeah, the Union Army. So she did a lot of good things. She was, like you said, a woman's right activist and activist for the American or African Americans. Yeah. I mean, it only makes sense at that point. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that what she did was very important. Yeah, it was good. Very uh, influential. It's just that it... Well, actually, just to put it as an example, I have a quote here from... Uh, where is he? There he is. Lamar Alexander, the previous senator of Tennessee, or I think the senator of Tennessee. Mm. The United States history is not Andrew Jackson versus Harriet Tubman. It is Andrew Jackson and Harriet Tubman, both heroes of a nation's gr- uh, work in progress towards great goals. Good point. It is unnecessary to diminish Jackson in order to honor Tubman, and that's I something like that, that's very yeah, that's good. something that like actually that. really uh, hit me right there. Was we shouldn't be judging uh, saying okay, Jackson out, Tubman in. It should be how can we get both of them incorporated to have the same level of honor. Unfortunately, when people think that they want the honor, they think, hey, we'll just add Jackson to the back. I don't know if that's a matter of honor. Though. I don't it's think a, so It's either. a matter of remembering him, yeah. but it's diminishing yeah, his honor. It's smaller. smaller. He, he's not going to be as prevalent. Exactly. And so, compared, to the, compared to the front. So what do you think would be a pretty good solution to the idea? Well, I think give Harriet Tubman a a place in the currency of the United States. That's fine with me. Uh, and I think the best plan, in my opinion, for that is to give her her own currency. I, I agree with you. Add in another dominant... Uh, hey, hey, <laughs> that, that's a hard word to say. Denomination there you go. of currency. Add another number. Maybe maybe a 30 <laughs> I don't well, know. We, we, we just, wouldn't have to figure that. Part I'm out. just, I'm just trying to say this. Add another form of denomination to the United States currency and put her on it. There was also another idea. In fact, actually, a couple other people brought this up too before. Was we have a lot of currency that we don't utilize on a day to day basis. The two dollar bill. Oh yeah, I barely. See. I've only seen it a few times. I mean, it's been it's been brought back into circulation, but you have to ask for it at a bank. Otherwise, you'll never see it. I mean, only you, you don't see it like you go get change from a cashier. You don't give it to. When I worked at a store uh, quite a while ago, I would see it like once every couple of months, just one bill. I don't think I ever saw it working at a store. Uh, it's it was very rare. There were also a few coins we don't see very often, or do get changed here and there, like the dollar coin, uh-huh. the half dollar coin, things like that. I was actually giving this a lot of thought, and one thing that kind of bothered me. Mm was we have many of the Founding Fathers' faces and a few presidents, and even on the $10 bill, we have Alexander Hamilton, who was the first United States Secretary of the Treasury, so he wasn't a president. Uh, I don't believe he's a Founding Father. Anyway, um, they're on multiple forms of currency. They're both on coin and on Oh, yeah, that's true. I didn't... Like George um, Washington's on the quarter and the dollar. Mm-hmm. You know, so on and so forth. And Lincoln's on the five and the split cent. Yeah. I'm wondering if it should be a big deal... If we had the coins just replaced with other people of influence... That'd be okay. I'd be, I'd be all right with that. And I didn't I, think of that. And I was also thinking, if you look at the dollar bills, is there, a, is there a reason we can't have the dollar bills strictly founding fathers, which means uh, Alexander Hamilton, who is honored being the first United States Secretary of the Treasury, would be removed. He could be put on a coin, maybe. Or um, also Abe Lincoln would be moved from the $5 bill. Because he's not a founding father. True. Uh, which would leave, you know, people like Benjamin Franklin at the hundred, George Washington at the one, so on and so forth, bring in founding fathers to the dollar bills and have influential people on the coins. Okay. That sounds good. I mean, it, that seems like a pretty nice alternative, don't you think? Yeah, I, I think I'm all right. I'm okay with that. Another idea that was brought up, I don't know if you caught this or not on the article that we read yeah, together, sure. um, was the ability to... Actually, it wasn't on the article that you sent me. It was on a connected article that they had in the link there. Mm-hmm. And it had to do with uh, Ben... I'm, I'm going to butcher this last name. Bernank? Bernank? Bernanke? Anyway, former Federal Reserve Chairman has actually apparently advised the Treasury multiple times that they should redesign the bills 
frequently, much like how the United States or the U.S. Post Office changes stamps, things like that. Well, frequently mean how often? Well, he, he didn't specify in the mm-hmm. article, but you can kind of imagine maybe every five, ten years, maybe every t- twenty years. Who knows? But in that case, you could you could circulate it mm-hmm. where between this time period you had this person on that bill. During this time period, you had this person on that bill. Okay. You could honor everybody that way. Go ah, through all the influential faces. people. Okay. Exactly. That'd be, so, that'd be okay. So that'd also be kind of like one of the things that kind of struck out at me as well. Huh. Anything else strike out at you? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I think those are good ideas. I really thought more... Uh, huh. Yeah, okay. Okay, I mean, if that's what it is... It, um, the article was not very well informed. We had to do our own digging quite a bit to find any kind of information, which is why I missed some of the things you were talking about with Harriet Tubman. Yeah, but I, I think most of the... I looked into like three or four different articles about the subject, and they're pretty much the same thing said over and over again. Yeah. There wasn't really any more in-depth discussion. I think as time goes on, after this after this initial idea of changing the, the bills um, this way... I think as years go on until about 2020 or 2030, maybe around that time, we might have more information. Now, the $10 bill is also getting a change. Yeah, 10 and a ten and 5 The 10 and 5 I believe, on the back will have, uh, what was it? I believe the 10 was getting, uh, what was it? The back was going to be the women, the, uh, you see the one the they were going to put a woman alongside Alexander Hamilton. However, they're apparently changing that to having Hamilton in the front, mm-hmm. and the bill having the women who led the charge for women's right to vote okay. on the back. Okay. I don't know about the five though. I did hear the five was getting a change, but yeah. I didn't see anything about the details. So I thought the I had thought when I had read it that it was the change for the ten would be similar to the five, but I don't oh, know. Oh, uh, possible. I I missed that. If that's the case. The, the idea, though, is, you know, the $10 bill isn't being changed till 2020, so four years away. It won't move it for a while. Yeah, so it's a few years away. However, um, it had to do with the 100th anniversary of Amendment 19, which was the right for women to vote. Right. So that makes perfect sense. Try to set on that date. And the new around. $20 bill wouldn't be made until at least 2030. So we got... It's got another, 14 years. Yeah. 14 years at least before we would see Harriet Tubman on the bill. So there's a lot of time for change and a lot of time for opinion. Discussion... Mm-hmm. Stuff like that. If it wasn't up to the security team making sure everything was secure and ready to go, we would have gotten it a lot sooner. So that's where it comes down to is just them getting the security, uh, you know, the bars for security, the uh, reflective ink all set up. And apparently, apparently, they're adding something to the bill that will help it be identifiable to those that are blind. Really? Yeah. That's, I found that kind of interesting. So like Braille? Yeah, let me see. Uh, right here, actually. I happen to have it up here. U.S. Treasurer Rosie Rios told reporters on the call that the new currency will include additional security features. Quote, for the first time in our history, our currency will also include a new tech help feature intended to aid the blind and the visually impaired. Wow. This is a new, complex, and critical important element in the production of modern U.S. currency. So that should be very interesting I to see. I have never heard of it. I That's know. It's very interesting. Making it... Braille or some type. That, that, that I don't know if it's are... Braille. I don't know if it's a certain texture besides Braille. That's cool. There was one person I had met a few years ago uh, that I, you know he was blind, mm-hmm. but he knew exactly what bill one was, was in his hand. How? Well, that was my question. It was actually the way he had folded the bills had certain creases in them. So how did he fold them a certain way, knowing what they were? He each each bill he folded differently, so he knew it. No, no, no. Well, oh. How did he know how to? How did he know which bill he hadn't had before was folded to fold the? Well, either somebody fold. helped him with that, or while he was at the bank, he asked him, you know, give me all twenties, and they gave him twenties, and he folded them okay, each. Okay. Then, but that, that's know, a, it was a way smart to way it. to make sure he knew he was grabbing the correct bill when he was going up to the cash register. Pretty impressive. He did, of course, have a helper to help him shop, but for the most part, he didn't have to have anyone helping him with money. Huh. It was pretty awesome. And so if they're introducing something like this, first this off, help a lot of people. first off, I'll throw him off for a loop. But second, like, what? <laughs> but second, it would be very beneficial Ooh, for very those good. that need some help when it comes to money. Yeah, I think it's great. Huh. Besides, think of it this way. If you can figure out what bill's in your pocket without having to pull it out. Well, hell yeah. Exactly. So all in all, 
I don't. I'm not opposed to Harry Tubman being on currency. I think it's okay. It, but the replacing of a iconic face on a bill. That's no. That's what I struggle. Uh, I'm with. not okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with her being on the two. I'm okay with her being on a brand new. Form Make of currency. another bill for her, and for adding more people. And like you were saying, maybe to the coins. Yeah, adding maybe, people to the coins. But the founding fathers only founding fathers on the bill, which means a couple of the ones that we've known forever on the ten and the five would Change. go away and be put somewhere else, or influ- and influential people on the coin, or you could swap that yeah. founding fathers on the coin, or change them ever so often. Like you were saying, for yeah. only change the way the bills look. So. Everything nice and fresh. I liked that idea too because honestly, our bills were boring as hell for the longest time. Now they, green have, and now, now they have some colors to look more Ooh, attractive. Color. Looking. But I, honestly, the first time I saw the hundred dollar bill and it's a new color, I thought it was like Monopoly money. <laughs> really like did. what the heck is this? <laughs> oh, when they first came out, I was like, I don't know if I can accept this. <laughs> it looks too colorful. I mean, and I a weird little strip there in the bill for security reasons. Funny thing is, did you know that they the strips that were on the hundred dollar bill originally, not originally, sorry, the when they first came out with the new colors mm-hmm. and things like that, you could pull that strip out. How? Oh. I don't, I don't know. It was like between the fibers. But if you did. The bill was worthless. Really? Because there's no way to identify it being legit or not. Huh. I found that interesting because apparently there was a group of kids that did that with a hundred dollar bill in the town we were living in, and they killed a hundred dollars. <laughs> no, it's just a piece of paper. No, nah, it's just a piece of paper. Lame. <laughs> Good job, kids. And there's no way to get that back in there. I'm no. Sure. <laughs> Either way, um, yeah, I think it'd be interesting to see them change the bills a little bit. I think it'd be okay. As long as they do it right. Yeah, of course. they got to give everybody that deserves respect respect without diminishing other people in the meantime. Yeah. Besides, how boring is it to see buildings in the back of each, every bill? I mean, it's, it's White House. There's the... Uh, memorial. Memorial. There, you know, it's like, hmm. Yeah, the $2 bill always had the signing of the Declaration of Independence on the back of it. Oh, it did, didn't it? Yeah, it did. That'd be cool. I liked that a lot better. It looked more artistic to me. Yeah. Either way. So, all in all, the our, our decision overall on changing the way the bills look is okay. But replacing someone's face that we know and has been there for a long, long time, I don't think that's a good idea. Neither do I. However, those are just our thoughts. We also like to hear yours, so leave them in the comments below. Uh, give this video a like if you, did, if you liked it. If not, well, give it a thumbs down. It doesn't hurt our feelings too much. Up to you. We'll cry in a corner. We'll do it. <laughs> He's already crying. I'm not crying. Crabby. I'm just kidding. Thank you guys for joining us. I'm Wardrick. I'm Burke. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye-bye.